similar to the Garden of the Righteous Among Nations at the Great Holocaust Memorial of Yad Vashem, due to the joint work of the Kosovo Israel Friendship Association and the Albanian American Foundation, that we have unearthed this important piece of the shared history of our two peoples. And yet the significance of this wall goes beyond the individuals it celebrates. The wall not only commemorates their acts, but also serves as a monument to be shared values and to the shared values and to the enduring friendship of the people of Kosovo and Jewish people worldwide. The Jews who fled Europe in the first half of the 20th century and the Albanians of Kosovo throughout that century knew that what it meant to be deprived of a home in the full meaning of a world. And for both peoples, it was the founding of a state, the state of Israel and the state of Kosovo, which finally provided them with that robust sense of home of which they had been previously deprived. The wall of honor that we dedicate today also demonstrates that the Jewish and the Albanian people share a home in a temporal sense. Sot, në zemër të Prishtinas, ne zbulojmë murin e nderit, një dëshmi e guzimit, dhe mshuris dhe për kushtimit ndaj njërzimit, vlera që formësojnë historinë tonë të përbashkët. Ky murin derit është më shumë se një struktur, është një monument i zhytur në histori të jashtë zakonshme, duke që ndruar për para saj, zemra tona mbushen me krenari, ndërsa përjetsojmë një të kaluar që do të afrymzoj edhe breza e breza tjerë me rralë që do të vinë. While we have made great strides in technological advancement in the 21st century, we are woefully behind in the world in moral advancement. And I want to quote Gavra Mandel, um, who has been quoted by our wonderful Avner Shalev. He was a Yugoslavian Jew who with his family was saved by Albanians. And he said, Albanians may not have been educated in the heritage of Goethe and Schiller, the greatest importance to human life, while most of Europe turned its back on the extermination of European Jews, Kosovar Albanians demonstrated tolerance, sacrifice, courage. I run today the Kosovo Israeli Friendship Association that was established in 2005 by my late grandfather, Mustafa Raznici, and late prominent researcher, Jangulia Eliazi. She has made a tremendous research. <laughs> she has made a tremendous research and so unique that I also today and inherited her work. So it wasn't that it started with me. And I'm very happy that I had the chance to cooperate with her. And I'm very sorry that she is not here today with us because she would also be um, happy and proud for all the work that she also was part of. The communication and relationship with the families of the survivors is continuing. So on both sides, we are now flourishing even more and every day getting stronger our friendship. Because this now is sacred ground, okay? This memorial will be continued as sacred ground, ground to the Jewish people and to the Albanian people. And there's a good example of this in America today, and it's called Gettysburg. You know, we had a president who risked his, who gave his life so that we can get rid of slavery as a complete horror, injustice for humanitarian, uh, for, for humankind. And Shoei and I walked those grounds, and I think there was about 200,000 soldiers killed at that point. And finally, there was a president that was assassinated. His name was Lincoln, and we have to remember the ultimate sacrifice he made, much like the ultimate sacrifices that many made for this day to arrive. And I'm so happy to be here with you. I'm so happy to recognize my Albanian roots, Lanyard Shatar. Uh, when it's not. Thank you. It's not easy to explain to people that you're Albanian when you have a name Dio Guardi. Everybody assumes you're Italian, but they don't know 
how complicated the world is, especially for Albanians, with all the divisions and